Namaskar viewers and welcome to our today's episode. Today we are going to talk about how to cultivate turmeric organically through the scientific methods, the practices that not only cares about our soil and environment but also fetch a very good price and for your produce. For our today's episode, we are honored to welcome Dr. M. Bilasini, the horticulture scientist at ICR NEH region, Umiyam. Namaskar ma'am and welcome to our today's podcast. Thank you Chitra for having me in this podcast. Ma'am, so to begin with, can you tell us about the climatic condition necessary for the cultivation of the organic turmeric? Uh, yes, sure Chitra. Uh, actually, turmeric can be grown in a diverse tropical condition okay. uh, with a temperature ranging from like 20 to 35 degrees Celsius. Uh-huh. And the annual rainfall should be 1500 millimeter. And then uh, regarding the soil, it can be grown in a wide range of soil, Uh ranging from uh, clay to sandy loam soil and the pH of 4.5 to 7.5. So ma'am, this means that understanding the right climate is the first step towards the healthy turmeric crop production. Yes, right Citra. So ma'am, moving ahead, can you tell us about the varieties which are best suited for this region? Uh, yes, Citra. Uh, for northeastern condition, Mega Turmeric 1, which oh. is a variety from our own institute, that is ICR Research Complex, NEH, Umium, is very promising under oh. this region. And the other local cultivar like Lakadong is very popular among the farmers. And other improved varieties like Pratiba, Pragati, oh. those are from IHR and they are also performing very good under the northeastern condition. Oh, so these are the best options the farmers can look over to grow in this region. I have also heard that uh, Mega Turmeric 1 and Lakatong varieties work best for our climate in this region. Yes, yes. Like for example, Mega Turmeric 1, under a very well managed crop, it yields up to 20 to 30 tons per oh. hectare. And the curcumin content is about 6.8%. Mm. And plus the dry matter percentage is also 16.4%. So it is very promising variety. So now ma'am, can you tell us about what should we keep in mind while selecting the seed materials for the turmeric cultivation? Uh, yes, Citra, that is very important question. Uh, the first and foremost thing is like we have to go for the local varieties oh. uh, for which are adapted to the microclimatic condition of that particular region. Okay, and after that, uh, you have to select the healthy and disease free rhizomes. Oh. So once the healthy and disease free rhizomes are selected, then you have to treat the rhizomes uh, with 1% Bordex mixture. Okay. So the farmers may like to know how to prepare this 1% Bordex mixture. Okay. So for this, we have to get, uh, we have to take 100 gram of lime mm-hmm. and 100 gram of copper sulfate and this has to be dissolved in 10 liter of water. Okay. So now ma'am, we want to know what is the best time of plantation and the seed rate for this cultivation? Uh, yes, Citra, for northeastern condition, the optimum time for planting starts from April till May. Okay. Ma'am. And the seed rate is 18 to 20 quintal per hectare. Oh. So, this is the optimum seed rate for getting the good yield. So, ma'am, uh, yes. timing and better quality of rhizome do make a big difference? Yes, yes. It makes a very uh, big difference in the yield. And the rhizomes should also be uh, of a particular size, like 4 to 5 centimeter minimum length. Okay, ma'am. And it should weigh up to 25 to 30 gram. Ma'am, now can you tell our viewers how to prepare the land for the planting? Yes, your Chitra. Uh, but before going to the preparation of land for planting, okay, uh, I would like to mention regarding the soil treatment, which is one very important part. So for this, uh, what we have to do, uh, there is a process called soil solarization. Uh So in this process, we have to take a transparent color polythene seed, which is of a particular thickness, that is 200 case. It is easily available from any agricultural store. So with this polythene seed, we have to cover the whole area where you you are going to do the planting. And then after that, with the wet soil, the margin has to be closed so that there is no passes of air. Okay, ma'am. And so in this process, what happened? The sunlight is trapped by the polythene and okay. then the heat is not able to uh, transmit from the polythene. So the whole area is heat up. And so whatever pathogen or any nematode, if it is present in the soil, it will be get killed. Okay, so in ma'am. this way, you are doing a, a sort of soil uh, light, uh, sterilization, okay, sterilization ma'am. of the soil, making it free from all the pathogen and the nematodes. After this, what you will do, this soil solarization, it has to be done for minimum like 30 to 45 days during the hot sunny days, okay. So, after that, for the final land preparation, uh, the bed size 
it can be of convenient length according okay. to the land availability but it should be of one meter width so that interculture operation will be very easy yes, and then one bed to another bed there should be a gap of 50 centimeter okay, so after that bed is prepared you have to make a pit okay, and the pit should be made at a distance of 30 centimeter okay. so that the plant to plant distance remain 30 centimeter so after the pit is prepared you have to put uh, your FYM then you can enrich with trichoderma also okay. and after that you have to put the seed rhizome and then cover with the same mixture of your uh, FYM and the soil okay, so this process should be followed and all the farmers should follow the recommended spacing okay. so as to get the optimum plant growth giving to optimum yield this sounds like a very practical method which our farmers can easily follow for at the time of land preparation Ma'am, now can, can you tell our viewers about how to do the manuring? Uh, yes, um, etc. Actually, uh, in Meghalaya, as we are doing mostly organic, so yes, for manuring and fertilizer also, we have to uh, follow those uh, bio-fertilizers which are allowed under the organic condition. Yes, ma'am. So, as a basal dose at the time of planting, okay. we have to uh, give two tons per hectare of neem cake. Neem cake is easily available from any agricultural store. After that, 20 tons of FOM okay. per hectare area we have to put. Then after 25 to 30 days of planting, again, 2 tons of Burmi compost you have to put. Okay. Followed by uh, like 100 kg of sul sulfate of potash and another 2 tons of Burmi compost per hectare after 90 days of planting. Okay. Ma yeah. So that sounds like a complete and a balanced nutrient diet for plant for our turmeric crop. Ma'am, so now we have talked about all the package and practices for the cultivation of turmeric organically. So now ma'am, can we know about when and how to do the harvesting? Uh, yes, Citra. Coming to harvesting, the time for harvesting depends on the variety. Okay, so usually we used to do the harvesting from 7 to 9 months. Hmm. But the early varieties, they can be harvested from 7 to 8 months. Okay, so after properly plowing the land, the rhizome should be harvested. And after that, all the rhizomes should be cleaned. Clean okay. off the mud and then the extra sinus material. After that, they have to be stored properly. Okay, ma'am. So, ma'am, harvesting at the right time ensures the good quality of the rhizome and yield. Yeah, right. That's it. So, ma'am, as we have now harvested our rhizome, can we know what should be the storage process for this? Yes, uh, it is very important uh, to store the rhizome properly. Okay. So, before uh, storing, we have to select only the healthy rhizome for storage, you know, either okay. for processing or for the next year planting. So here, the rhizome should be cleaned properly, the healthy rhizome, only the healthy rhizome we have to select. And then again, they have to treat with 1% Bordex mixture okay, for 20 mind. minutes. After that, we have to make a pit for storage. Oh. So the pit should be uh, covered with uh, like dry grasses. Okay, so it should the rhizome should not be directly placed over the mud, okay, but it has to be the floor has to be covered with uh, any available material like dry dry grass. After that, you will put the uh, treated rhizome. Okay, ma'am. That treated rhizome has to be set dry also. Okay. Mm -hmm. After set drying, the dry rhizome you will put in the pit and. The pit has to be either covered with the straw or you can plaster it with mud also. Oh, yes. So ma'am, mm. storage is not just the end of the cycle but it is like a beginning yes, for yes, the yes. next crop yes, cycle. Very right, right. So dear farmers, this was the information on the how to cultivate turmeric organically. I hope you have gained the knowledge from this and will follow the recommended practices. At last, I would like to thank Dr. M. Bilasini for your valuable time and being with us and sharing this wonderful information with our viewers. And thank you all for your viewing this episode and best wishes for your organic turmeric cultivation. Namaskar. Namaskar.